What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Macho Movie Madness. Oh, yeah. I'm Brandon. Alongside me always is Andrew. And today it is a Mad Max versus it's a Road Warrior versus Fury Road. Let's do it. What is up, guys? Welcome back. So today on Versus, we are going to do a Mad Max head-to-head. -head. It is the Road Warrior, which is Mad Max 2, and uh, Fury Road. Mad Max 2, or the Road Warrior here in the U.S., came out in, uh, what was it, 81, I believe? Um, 81, it, I think, in Australia. 82 here, maybe? Yeah. I got, I'm got. i getting 81 everywhere, but it could be that way. Yeah. Either way, uh, Fury Road come out, come out in 2015. Very long time. And from what I read, George Miller, who's the director and writer of a lot of these, um, director of all of them, he actually had this idea for Fury Road back in 87. Oh, wow. Which was two years after Beyond the Thunderdome. Yeah. And yeah. it's just been in production hell uh, for, you know, 20 years, basically. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, or oh, damn near 20 years, I guess. Or right? was that Almost be 30. Time? Be almost 30 years. Yes, yeah. almost 30 years. It was in production hell. And it ended up, I think they I think they ended up filming this mostly in 2012. And it was they did some reshoots in 2013, released in 2015. So uh, of course you got Mad Max Road Warrior, Mel Gibson, the OG. This is gonna be probably pretty interesting. I know we've been talking about doing this versus for a long time. I uh, I actually brought this to you guys on our original run of Macho Movie Madness. I wanted yeah. to do it back then. And then when we came back, I'd mentioned it, but now, uh, like next week, that movie's coming out. And yeah, Furiosa, now, yeah. Now's yeah. the perfect time to finally give this to you guys. So yes, yes. Um, and we're, of course, we'll probably be going and watching uh, Furiosa too, which is a prequel, like a like a side story. Yeah. Um, and we're going to be probably reviewing that as well. Uh, so on one hand, Andrew, we've got Road Warrior with a budget of 4.5 million and i believe that's australian dollars and ended up breaking in a total of 36 million dollars wow. at the box office on the other hand on fury road you've got 154 to 185 mil budget which uh very broad one once again uh i think we had another one not too long ago we talked about that we had a very broad budget like that a total recall um, yeah total recall yeah okay um and it brought in 380 million which is the highest grossing Mad Max to date. Yeah. It's crazy to think that, you know, after kind of the bomb that Beyond Thunderdome was almost 30 years earlier, he'd get a budget like that. But yeah, yeah, exactly. That's but crazy. I think, I think, I think the other ones just are so classic and it's just such a long, long period of time. I, I, I can see why it, it, there was a lot of hype around it. And uh, I think for most people, it delivered. You know, yeah. I think I think it really did for most people, especially the fans of the series. That's that's uh, what made me want to do this versus because I hold the Road Warrior, Warrior in like the highest regard. And I was on some forums and everybody's like, you know, Fury Road, Fury Road. And on IMDb, I, I believe it's rated higher. And I was like, wow, I'd never even thought about that. So, yeah, so it's, it's a good debating point. Which movie's better? Right. And we're going to figure out today what we all think. Kenny's not here with us, but we do have his picks. Um, I guess you want to go, do you have anything you want to say? Uh, no, I, I love and appreciate both of these movies. Uh, they're my two favorites out of the four so yeah, far. For um, sure. Yeah. Um, okay. Well let's get into the categories and let's just get right into this. First off, uh, it's pretty normal for most of our verses. We got story setting, acting, the action, and uh, the villain, best villains in, in these movies. So that's what we're going to go with. And we're going to start it off with story. Um, Andrew, do you want to start us off here? Maybe give us a rundown if you want to of both stories and then, yeah. And then take your pick. So, so this is uh post-apocalypse, you know, with the road warrior. And, and so everybody's looking for guzzoline and yes. you've basically got Max just trying to survive every day out there. And he comes across this gyro pilot. And he's like, oh, let me live, and I'll tell you where you can, can get thousands of gallons of gasoline. And he goes to this refinery. Only problem is the Lord Humongous and all of his goons there, his wacky boys are trying to get in there. And, yeah. uh, you know, these, these 
people that run the refinery, they're, they're trying to make enough oil to, to go to paradise. And, yeah. and that's basically it as far as the road warrior. Mad Max Fury Road, I've not really looked into whether it is a uh, like the prequel or, or far off in the future. But basically, um, you've got, it would be a Morton Joe running things in the future. And, you yeah. know, he's got these six wives. You've got uh, Charlize Theron's character, a Furiosa. And yeah. uh, she's supposed to take these war boys off to get all this fuel. So once again, it's it's a fuel uh, propelled thing. And uh, in in the meantime, Max gets involved with this. He's he's Nux's blood bag, basically. Yes, <laughs> this yes. movie, and uh, which was wild. Instead of going to Gas Town to get all this stuff, she takes a detour and she's <laughs> trying to get a Morton Joe's six wives to freedom. Yeah, and, and that's basically her. One, and Max one who's very pregnant, up. by the way. Yeah, one who's very yeah. pregnant. Yeah, his brother. As we get along, uh, Rictus Erectus, played by Nathan Jones, formerly of wwe fame has that great line i love yes. it uh after you know she's killed and they cut it open it was a boy i had a baby brother and he was perfect <laughs> in every way <laughs> <laughs> i love that line some of the uh, there, there's just like really random pieces of dialogue in both of these movies that yeah. are just hilarious and, and and names like that like a, a morton joe like the lord humongous rictus erectus i think yeah. chris hemsworth in this new one is his name's dementus <laughs> i don't know i didn't look at it. probably it sounds about right so yeah, I, I I love just the on the nose you know names for some of these characters. Yes, yes. So as far as both stories go, I mean these are both dystopian, futuristic, apocalyptic style movies in the desert, basically Australian yeah. type desert. Um, water and gas are the most important resources. You got produce. I think they added into like uh, into Fury Road, maybe. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, gas, gas, and getting around, getting around in in your your shit mobiles, is, <laughs> is is where it's at, right? You gotta. Um, so, wh what are you uh, what are you picking for story here? Um, I'm gonna go with the original, and the main reason I'm doing it is, uh, I'm hoping not to get us canceled here, but the overt feminism in Fury Road is a little bit heavy. It's it's Tyson like in its heavy handedness. As right, Jake Paul's right. gonna find out. Uh, anyway, yes. Um, yes. yeah, it's it's you know, and I I love my female protagonists. You know, uh, Sarah Connor, Ellen Ripley, Furiosa. Yeah. I'd put her right yeah. there with those. Yeah, they're but just great. It's cool that she's the main protagonist. You know, she's taking these women. You know, and one of them's pregnant, and and trying to get re you know them to safety. But then you get the old mothers later on, and it's just it's yeah. a lot. And, and yeah. it's, it's kind of hard to ignore. It's like, man, they're really beating us over the head with this. Um, the Road Warrior is a little more streamlined. And I also thought uh, Fury Road feels like it's about 15 minutes too long. Yeah, so it does. I agree. I gotta watch it. I agree. Okay. Uh, so we actually go uh, Road Warrior all across the board on this one. Uh, I'm, I'm with you. I like, I like more streamlined, straightforward stuff with the Road Warrior. It's more of a classic tale you've got um a couple female characters in there one one of them who ends up dying at the end is, is yeah. a strong character um i have no problem with with uh charlize theron uh and her and her role as furiosa in and fury road i think she did a great job and i think she was a badass character but yeah you start i think you i think you overdo it with the rest yeah like you said yeah um you know story it's not really that different you know, yeah. you're, you're, you're just, you're, you've got bad guys and good guys and they're, and they're fighting to escape or they're fighting to fighting, fighting for resources. I mean, it's just the way yeah. a lot of these movies work. Um, so not a lot of difference there, but, um, I think just trying to get the, the wives to, to safety or to freedom. I don't know. I think I like, I like, I like the, the whole, the whole compound of people basically escaping into the North. Uh, their paradise so to speak i yeah. think that was a lot better um I, I liked a lot of those characters i mean there were some good characters in fury road but i liked the characters a little better in in mad max too when you get into story like him and the gyro pilot there yeah. hey partner and, and you know yeah. that, that that part where max tries to leave and he comes in and saves him and he you know he's, he's going in and out and, and they they do the slow voice Hey, I'm your partner. Whatever. I'm your partner. <laughs> yeah, th it, there's some funniness there, but it, it, I like the dynamic between those two. Yeah. 
um it it very it very much reminds me of of an adventure style like video game survivalistic video game and um, also, uh, I, I didn't feel like max had quite enough to do in fury road in that score yeah, he's kind of yeah. secondary to furiosa in a lot of ways yeah and i i don't i don't ever dig that usually especially yeah. if if you've got the title if the title is mad max you know and you start off by capturing him and throwing him on the front of a car and then sidelining him you know yeah he saves the day at the end and walks off in the sunset and fades away like you know mad max does still just not quite as strong yeah i think mel gibson's mad max is a little bit better absolutely and i like the leanness of road warrior it's an easy watch it's not that long fury road is wild as it is it's got some great moments it just seems like you said it goes on a little bit too long yeah so we went road warrior for this first category right across the board easy peasy and we're going to move on to setting now kenny picks fury road for setting and i'm inclined to agree with this yeah that's the three both... for setting okay so i mean it's kind of hard not to pick fury road on this one i mean you're talking about a movie that's 30 years difference in in making uh it's the same style setting you're in desert it's in post-apocalyptic but obviously the style um the visuals everything is way broader way bigger it's all cgi but it's way bigger in scope and it's brighter and it's just pretty really pretty looking it's hard not to go fury road on this it, and they did a damn good job despite it being cgi like crazy yeah they did a damn good job i love where, where that chase is going on in the beginning and you've got that dust cloud going going on that they're all getting ready to drive into the wall of dust and that yes. was just a beautiful shot it was and, there's and a lot of movie. beautiful shots in this yeah it's very stylistic very very nice they're going through the swamp and the people on stilts and you know, the scene where furiosa drops to her knees there at the end and or, or toward the end uh just mm -hmm. some really good shots uh yeah mad max i i do love i was telling you this the other day there's a shot where him and the gyro pilot are up on that cliff overlooking the refinery and just how broad that australian desert is i, yeah. I really like that shot good and, shot too yeah i just don't think it's enough i like that no it's not i i do like the visual i think they did it at the beginning and at the end where you know he said I, you we never saw max again the road warrior again and he's just kind of like standing on the road and posing it's the zoom like in that, and out that zoom in i like i like that shot yeah so that's an easy category really it's gonna uh, get harder i think <laughs> yeah. well i'm gonna say we'll move right into acting honestly we don't want to waste a lot of time um because this is kind of where i'm torn uh kenny picks fury road i so old movies you really run in like especially like this you run into just acting styles and and, and all that they're so different back then i think i think usually more often than not you have stronger actors uh, even even like your your lower end actors your no namers seem like they they are a little bit better these days and just the way they deliver the way and maybe that's just the timing maybe that's direct i don't know maybe it's just him being a better director like 30 years later i don't know what it is exactly but i'm i'm kind of like leaning fury road because of charlie Theron's really good mm -hmm. tom hardy's really good um but everybody kind of plays their part really really well in, in the road warrior yeah obviously yeah, you can't really top mel gibson in most things yeah and, and, tom, and tom hardy doesn't in this I, no 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 i don't think so either i think when you're talking about the maxes i think uh mel gibson's definitely the better mad max um everybody else i mean even the villains are pretty good in, in yeah, Road Warrior. yeah yeah wes isn't that um what's his face bennett from from commando yes uh, yes yeah uh, his Lebowski ass hanging out bennett. yeah <laughs> that character is unhinged i was, I was like there's a couple shots of him holding him in the chains i'm like man this is the gayest shit i've ever seen <laughs> I, I think it might have been it may have been yeah I mean, it may have been maybe on purpose yeah yeah i like the guy who played humongous i like all the people in that refinery too um that one guy reminds me of an old lex luger <laughs> the guy that runs yeah. the place yeah I, I like yeah him, and i like that female warrior with the crossbow 
I do too. I do but too. I, I don't know action. I don't know acting wise if there's enough there to really compete with Charlize Theron and and, so, and a Morton Joe and some of those characters, even those young girls, the wives of a Morton Joe in this movie. Nicholas Holt did a great Nick job. Holt, as Nicholas Holt is is really good in just about everything. Yeah, I yeah. mean to be honest with you, Renfield last year. Ren, Renfield, he did great in Renfield. Yeah. Um, I think I think I'm going to have to go Fury Road in this. Yeah. As much as I like Mel Gibson over Tom Hardy. I know that that's kind of where I'm at too. It's, I mean, I do like, um, the gyro captain too. Yeah. Him um, and those teeth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. What was it? Um, what is his name? Um, Bruce Spence. Yes. And I believe Bruce Spence is he, yeah, he, so Bruce Spence was one of the henchmen in Ace Ventura when nature calls. Oh, that's great. It was with the dart. Yeah, he's the one. He's the one with the hat, and I'm pretty sure he was on that movie. Anyway, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go Fury Road as well. It's a little heavy-hearted, but I, I I think Fury Road's just a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, I think just I think you're right. I think you're right, man. So, moving in to action, this is another one that. I have to go Fury Road on, unfortunately. But there's a lot of good action in the Road Warrior. Yeah. That whole that whole last chase scene was amazing. Yeah. With the tanker. So good. Mel Gibson gets his ass just kicked too in this movie. But again, you've got money, you've got time, you've got better effects. And I think that that lends itself well to Fury Road. It is it is wild. It's good. I mean, you've got you've got a guy who literally everybody is freaking out in these chase scenes, and you've got a guy unfazed playing the guitar with <laughs> fire shooting out of it. I mean, it's the most metal damn movie. I yeah. like it's it's the wildest thing I've ever seen. It's fun. Besides that, you've got guys on poles, thirty feet in the air, swinging back and forth, swinging dropping, back and forth, yeah. dropping explosives. It's, it's almost too much. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. It's it's it, like in a if if I wanted if I was going really more like for the realism road warrior would take it but this i mean if you're just counting all action fury road's wild like it is wild yeah i'm actually gonna go road warrior um just because i I feel like fury road gets a little cgi heavy with that guy with the guitar and the guys on the on the poles yeah um and just to think that they did all that practically back in 1981 or whenever they filmed that yeah that's wild um yeah it's cool yeah so many good chases although i will say the in chase, uh, we'll we'll get to, we'll get to it a little more in villains with Humongous, where he gets ahead of Max on that tanker and hits Dude, his and basically commits suicide, going hit you know head on into him. That's, yeah, taking that's, and taking out the other guy to Wes too. Yeah, that's one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. You know, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, absolutely but, uh, ridiculous. But yeah, those guys back then. You watch this one and you watch the original Mad Max. Those Australian stuntmen had no fear of anything oh. and so I, I do like the action in fury road but i am going to go road warrior on this one just because it was all done practically yeah i i, I like where your head's at on that uh, i'm going to stick to fury road though just because it was so wild and kenny picks fury road as well i mean there's a lot of really cool cool shit in both movies man yeah uh, i was kind of not expecting the gyro captain to make it after he took the fall yeah and i mean he basically nose dived into the into the ground and he still comes puttering up at the end on that thing smiling (laughs) what a great character he's such a good character who who becomes the leader of the group at that point and you find out the feral kid can talk in the end he's the narrator (laughs) yeah yeah (laughs) shout out to my daughter who might be listening speaking of feral kids yeah speaking of feral children running around acting wild <laughs> shoes off yeah all dirty i've Just done the dirty. best i can do here yeah <laughs> that's all right she'll be fine i'm sure she'll make it just give her a music box <laughs> we'll just, yeah she'll i'm sure she'll keep her she'll keep something i mean she'll she can chase squirrels in the yard or something <laughs> keep herself occupied <laughs> she's gonna kill both of us in our sleep <laughs> i guarantee it I'm locking my doors. She's like the other day. She's like, it was one time. It was one time. <laughs> so you never say. Let, so you say. Yeah. Never. I'm gonna never let you forget it. 
<laughs> Moving on. <laughs> For all those who might be wondering what we're talking about, uh, we showed up one night at Brandon's house, my wife in a in a Michael Myers mask. You just have to know Brandon in his, you know, Smith's Grove Sanitarium. Yeah. And uh, my daughter showed up and it was January. She had no shoes. She just jumped in the truck with no shoes. Yeah, so yeah just hopped been in. Been the feral it, kid ever since. Walks out, sit, standing on my sidewalk just with her arms crossed like this. And <laughs> it wasn't this, the coldest night, but I'm like, what are you doing, child? You're out here in the freezing weather with barefoot on my sidewalk. Yeah, sometimes the never let her forget. Are the leaders of the of the resistance in in, in the future? You know, so uh, well, I don't I don't expect her to be that great, but, <laughs> but she's really going to be pissed now. Yeah, yeah moving she's on. Probably, she's not she's not meant for better things like that, but you never know. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's move on to best villains. We've got Humongous and Wes, and then you've got what's his name. Rictus Erectus? Rictus Erectus, yes. Dict Dictus. Um, and then, um, what's the other one you said? Is uh, A Morton Joe. A Morton Joe, yeah. yeah. The, the, the the father and, and husband of five. And you, you basically got the war boys, too. You know, all the spraying their, yeah. spraying their mouths and going to Valhalla. They're, yeah. They were pretty wild. Yeah. Uh, so. Then, then you had Humongous and Wes. You had the guy, um, uh, who proclaimed the Lord humongous every time he came in yeah. the, the Ayatollah of rock and roll, the warrior the of the wasteland. I heard that. I'm like, this is fucking Chris Jericho right here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he ripped off a lot of things with his. Oh, 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 you find that out. Yeah. <laughs> the, the dude's not a genius at all. We find that out when he went to AEW <laughs> got, and, and, and they let him just do whatever. You're like, ugh. Sometimes you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. <laughs> Just ask Vince, ask Vince McMahon. Speaking of villains, what are you taking here? I'm torn. You 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 tell me what you guys took. I am well, really torn in this category. Kenny Kenny actually took Road Warrior, and I'm kind of inclined to agree. I kind of dislike just these basic outlaw marauders. Just yeah, uh, Ra raping like and taking whatever they want. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't like that, but you know, <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, no, I, I mean, I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, just it's just real realistic. It's real basic. These guys are crazy. They're good at what they do, and they're effective. I mean, they put on a they put a hurting on all of them, and they just about got the best of them at the end. Yeah. Uh, I I think the villains in Mad Max were very much over the top, and I don't always like that as much. Yeah. It you know it was it it definitely fit this movie very well. Um, but I'm, I'm going to have to go to the road warrior myself on this, man. I really like Morton Joe and, and, and all those guys, but I think I'm going to have to go with you on that yeah. one and go the road warrior. Um, I mean, you look at, at that and you look at professional wrestling and you've got, you know, you got the road warriors ripping off that gimmick. You got demolition ripping off, you know, the, the, the gimp wear. Yeah. Um, You've got, uh, yeah, when when uh, Sid Udi, Sid Vicious first came up, he was the Lord Humongous with the mask. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I really like that scene where uh, where I, I think he kills Wes's lover. And so uh, Humongous has uh, Wes in kind of like a chin lock. And I like the little effect they have where you see like the veins pulsing on his, on his bald head. Yeah. You know, for a movie that didn't have a lot of effects, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I agree for sure. I do like, uh, I think Morton Joe's death is one of the most brutal things I've ever seen. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Getting dumped off that truck and just, I mean, just. His face was it. completely ripped off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I mean, like, just very fast. It was yeah. just, it was like brutal. It was so brutal. Yeah. Thank you, Australia, and your crazy, violent movies. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Which is wild to think of because you know they don't have guns there. Really? I mean they do. I mean they do, but they they took them. They confiscated them all. That's why Max's one bullet went poof. Yeah. Yeah. They, they don't. They don't. Uh, they don't do that there. America. No. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I really like Fury Road. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. And Fury Road's going to take the win here today. Yeah. Over Road Warrior, and I think you just have effects and budget and time uh i think that that just it's hard to beat the style is so crazy but it's so fun and 
the visuals are amazing too, not just the action. I mean, the, even the nighttime visuals is just so good. Yeah. Um, I can't be too mad at it, I guess, but if I had to pick one of the two movies to watch more often than the other, it would probably still be The Road Warrior. Yeah, yeah. I I died inside a little bit when I realized that, that Fury Road took that third category. Yeah. And uh, I was like, oh. Because I, I love The Road Warrior. But uh, yeah. Fury Road is a very, very good movie. It's my favorite movie of 2015. Like, yeah. I, well, I don't even remember, remember the list. Year. I don't even remember the list of 2015. But yeah. uh, it's I'm sure it's up there for me, too, if yeah. I was to look. And, and that's why, you know, uh, Furiosa looks like it's going to be in that same vein when it comes it does. out. So pretty it does. exciting. And I, th- and I think with Anya Taylor-Joy, and uh, she's kind of been in everything here lately i you know i liked her in the in like the split series the unbreakable trilogy i like that uh which she was only in the last two of course um she's kind of goofy looking i mean not to be mean but she's yeah. kind of weird looking with those weird like eyes separate <laughs> but she's really really good actress and of course chris hemsworth is mm-hmm. awesome and everything so i think i think it's going to be a really fun movie well, I guess, what do we have coming up on Versus? We talked about what we're going to do next for Versus. Uh, we have not, but I do kind of have something lined up. Down the road, um, me and Brandon are going to do a Dolph Lundgren tier ranking. Mm-hmm. And so uh, to, to get another movie crossed off Brandon's list, I've been wanting to do The Punisher, uh, 1989 yes. versus 2004. If that sounds cool with you. That's fine with me. Yeah, that's fine with me. Uh, with the uh, The Thomas Jane one? Yeah. Yeah, which yeah. is a very good movie. I love that movie. Yeah. yeah, that'll be fun. Okay, so we'll do Punisher versus the Punisher yeah. next time. I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, good idea. And that'll that'll kind of help uh, set us up for the tier ranking, I think. Yeah, yeah, which that should be coming yeah. in the next couple months, I would think. I think that'll be, yeah, that, that might be closer to the end of summer by the time, because that'll allow me some time to get some of those watched. I haven't seen a lot of them anyway. Yeah. I've and got get us through some of these other plans. I've got a third of my list left. So yeah, I've got a little bit too, but I've been watching them like crazy. We're all big Dolph fans on this channel. So yeah. Yeah. He unfortunately doesn't have the best of movies, but I think he's underrated. I think I wish he would have had better movies because I think he's an underrated um, action star as far as, yeah. you know, the, the whole group of guys I think he, he, he probably deserved a little bit better. Yeah. But anyway, I think that's going to wrap it up. You got anything else to say? No, man, like I said, I got a little bit of a heavy heart about it, but you know what? Uh, that finally answers the the, year, the year's old question, you know, yeah, on a versus one? which one would win. And uh, Fury Road right, by no, a narrow one. margin. Yep, I agree. Um, and if you haven't seen either one of these, go check them out. Yeah. Uh, you'll, you can find Road Warrior on HBO Max. You can find it on Amazon Prime, I believe, uh, or you can rent it on anything else. I think I watched it on Daily Motion. Um for free um and then uh fury road is i don't know what fury road's on can't remember what it's on i i watched it a long time ago though so i don't uh yeah i didn't need to watch it again it's on blu-ray at my house but... on blu-ray yeah i guess you can i guess you can do that if you want to be that physical physical media old guy yeah you know not that blu-ray is that old <laughs> anyway we're gonna get out of here Guys, thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below what you would pick between these movies. Let us know what you think of all the road, all the Mad Max movies, I should say. Hit the like button, and we will see you next time. We're out of here.